a day of joy and mercy, a day in which Amina bin Wahab delivered the mercy to the universe, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. She says, as I was about to give birth, I saw a nur, a light that came into the room. And then all of the sudden, when the light went away, I saw the child with his left hand on the ground in the state of prostration, sujood, and his right hand is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reciting words of tawheed, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I hear the voice calling me, Ya Amina, you've just delivered the master of this world. So name him Muhammad. And indeed she did. She named him Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And he grew up as an orphan of the father. Abdullah had died before the birth of this holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. And they needed to search for a person who can nurse him. Give him some milk. Halima al saadiya She said the minute from the day he came to our house. Blessings started to arise and come to us. She says, that donkey I was riding was old. It barely made it to Mecca. The minute I took this boy, this donkey all of a sudden had so much strength that it used to surpass all other animals, all other rides, everything. My husband went to the camel that we had, which was also old and did not have much milk. All of a sudden, this camel had so much milk that we used to eat, my son used to eat and become fed up. Usually my son would sleep hungry because there is not enough food. I don't even have enough milk. And I started having so much milk and my health improved like we've never seen before. So I realized this boy is a blessing, is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a blessing. And this is no surprise if Isa ibn Maryam salamullahi alayhi says in the Quran, وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتْ Allah has made me blessed wherever I am. Then it would not be surprised for Habibullah to become Mubarak أَيْنَمَا كَان wherever he is, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Then the child grew a bit older. He lost his mother, he lost his grandfather. So his uncle Abu Talib took care of him. At the age of 12, Abu Talib wanted to go in a journey to Sham along with some of the heads of Quraysh for a business trip. This Prophet ﷺ came to his uncle. He said, oh my uncle, where are you going? He said, I'm heading to Sham for business. He said, why do you want to leave me behind? I don't have a father to take care of me nor a mother to take care of me. Why don't you take me with you? So his uncle felt sorry for him. He told him, come, come, let's go. From the minute they left Mecca, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a cloud that came to shade the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi throughout their journey until they came by a church. In that church, there was priest or a rahib, an abbot by the name of Bahira. Bahira noticed something different. This group, this caravan usually passes by on its route by this church. But this time this caravan is unique. He realized there is something different about this caravan this time, which caught his interest. He noticed a cloud in the sky covering or shading one individual. So he came out of his church and he told the group, I would like to invite you all into my church. They told him, Bahira, you've never done this before. We always come by your place. How come this time? He said, this time I want to invite you all. I want you all to come to my church. You're all my guests. They all came. Bahira saw that the cloud is still sitting out there. He said, are you all here? They said, yes. He said, no, there can't be. Somebody is missing. He said, yes, there is a young boy whom we kept him behind to look after our camels, our horses, our goods. He's out there sitting under a tree. He said, call him as well. I want him to come as well. So they called him. As he came, Bahira saw the cloud moving as well. 
when they all sat down, he said, who is the father of this man? Abu Talib said, I am his father. Because in the Arabic language, Al-Am, the uncle, Bahira said, can't be. You can't be a father, his father. This boy should not have a father. So then Abu Talib elaborated. He said, well, that's true. His father is my brother. He died before his birth and I raised him. So Bahira said, now you're saying the truth. Take care of this child, for this child is going to be the master of this world. Sayyidul Qawm, Sayyidul Alam. Take care of him. This is what I have read in the scriptures, which is an indication that indeed the mentioning of the Prophet is in the scriptures. As per our Holy Quran, when Isa السلام, in Surah Al Saf tells his followers, that I am giving you the news of a messenger who will come after me. His name is what? Ahmad. This prophet then grew. And indeed, as he received the message, he became Sayyidul Alam. In fact, before even he received his message, from the second he's born, in fact, before his birth, from the second of his creation, the creation of his nur, he is the mercy. Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, he asks our Prophet, this is found in Bihar al-Anwar. He said, Ya Rasulallah, why are you the best of the Prophets when you are the last one to be sent? He said, Ya Jabir, the first thing that Allah created in this world, in this universe, Nuru Nabiyyik, the light of your Prophet. And when it was the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked all his creation to confess to him of him being the Lord, I was the first to respond and confess before we are brought to this world. In Alam al dharb as referred to in Surah Al-A'raf, in that world. I was the first. Hence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made me the best of his creation. And he made me as the last messenger. So indeed, he is a true master and a master who has compassion and mercy.